Hello everybody and thank you for stopping by and welcome to Luxuriously Poor where God is good. He's given us another day. Okay, today I want to give you a really easy, simple way to make enchilada or red chili sauce as they call it. Okay, and I'm going to start here uh, with some water and I'm going to bring this water to a boil and then I'm going to add to it these chili pods here. Now, these are called New Mexico chili. They're sweet, meaning mild. Okay, I don't like uh, necessarily everything to be spicy hot. Now, you don't need many of these. I'm going to break off the ends of these so I can get some of the seeds out of them. And I'm not going to put them in anything until the water is actually boiling. Then I will add them to the boiling water. These are frozen tomatoes. You hear that? I was given several cases of tomatoes. I canned a whole bunch of them, but I also froze some because I ran out of jars to can them with and I was not gonna go out and buy more jars to can them. I just wasn't going to do that, so I froze them. Now, let's wait. We have to wait until our chill, our water, I'm sorry, is boiling, and then we'll come back. Okay, my water is boiling. Now, what I'm going to do right here, let's see if I can do this, is I'm going to add only the chili to this water. Nothing else for now. The tomatoes I will add in the end. I'm going to give them a little bit of a chance to unthaw. And I'm also going to blend them. I, I don't cook them in with the chilies. Now, you can use fresh tomatoes. You don't have to use frozen. You can use canned tomatoes. Now, this is what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to set this here. And I'm going to turn the fire off. And I'm going to let this sit like this. Uh, about 10 minutes or so. By then, the chili should be soft enough. And we'll come back and I'll show you how to finish up this sauce. Okay, on frozen tomatoes, I think the skins are kind of tough. So on them, I peel them off. They're very easy to peel off frozen. I put the tomatoes in the blender with the it was six chilies that i used and two tomatoes and i blended it together with a clove of garlic and i i turned the machine off or, or the sound off because i i didn't want you to have to go through that noise and i just blended it in my new it's a ninja okay blend it in whatever blender you have now i'm going to make chilaquilas with this sauce now this is the sauce you can use to make uh, enchiladas, chili colorado, all kinds of stuff. But I'm going to use it to make chilaquilas. Now you could choose a bag of tostadas and do the same thing instead of the corn tortillas. Now I'm showing you a tomato here because chilaquilas can also be made with tomatoes and jalapenos you can take three tomatoes two jalapenos throw them in some water boil them until they're tender put them in a blender and you can that could be the sauce you pour over your fried corn tortillas but like i said if you don't want to fry them you could use a bag of tostadas i find it to be cheaper and easier for me to do it this way i'm just going to cut this in pieces that's all I'm going to do is cut them in squares. And I'm going to fry them, okay? I'm just kind of showing you how I cut them so you get an idea of how it's done. And um, in the future, I'm going to discuss with you, we're going to have some serious problems, and I don't think a whole lot of people are prepared. And I'm going to explain some of my ideas of the best ways of trying to make it through what's really coming. Now, I'm going to fry this use whatever fat you use I use lard in this you can use whatever oil you want you want this to be a little bit brown you want them to be brown and crispy and so I'm going to continue to fry this till they become crispier you see how brown 
that's why I say tostadas. You can use tostadas if you want. Some people do. I don't like it as much. Now, here's cheese because cheese is something you use in chilaquilas. And you want to uh, melt it in there. So, I'm going to throw it in there. You're going to see. But, first, I'm going to pour some of the sauce over it. Okay, now I put the sauce in this container because it's a cottage cheese container. Now, like I said, if you didn't do this, you could do the tomatoes with the jalapenos and pour over it. If you didn't have this, the red chilies, if you didn't have that on hand, you could use a couple of tomatoes and a couple of jalapenos. And that would be your red sauce that you would put over the top for your chilaquilas. I know a lot of people who make it that way. I have done it that way myself. Then I'm going to put in the cheese. You see here? This is something simple, easy, and it's really not that expensive. If you stick to a certain way of cooking, a certain way of eating, it gets to be real cheap to do it. Now, here, you see how all that cheese is melted in there? I buy my cheese by bricks when it's on sale and I freeze it. I fried two eggs because this is going to be a breakfast here. And on each side of these eggs, I'm going to put some of these chilaquilas. Yep. And then, on each end of this, I'm going to put some refried beans. You can't have this without having some refried beans to it. See how delicious that is? Mm, mm, mm. This is good and inexpensive. Pinto beans are something I have on hand. Corn tortillas is always something I have on hand. And so is the Chili Colorado.